Bullying no longer goes unchecked in our schools, online, or everywhere else. Yeah, and today, Maryland lawmakers sent that same message to one of their own, reprimanding a Baltimore County delegate. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on that story tonight. Jeff? Well, Kelly, after a thorough investigation, an ethics committee found Delegate Jay Jalisi had been abusive to his staff and others for years. And his fellow delegates voted to reprimand him. His seat remained empty for a third day. No votes to be registered next to his name. Delegate Jay Jalisi did not show up to face the music from his peers. But it didn't keep them from sounding off on his deplorable behavior towards his staff and others. I move the adoption of House Simple Resolution 2, adopting the report of the Joint Committee on Legislative Ethics and ordering the reprimand of Delegate Jay Jalisi. In closed sessions, the Joint Committee on Legislative Ethics conducted 38 interviews, took sworn testimony from 18 people and 17 additional witnesses, outlining five years' worth of verbal abuse and toxic encounters with Jalisi. While the Baltimore County delegate has issued a statement claiming he's, quote, the target of a nasty smear campaign and a sham investigation, allegations suggest otherwise, including a recent account of a person who claims he called this person stupid and incompetent, even demanding that the victim of his bullying keep repeating the phrase, I am incompetent. A legislative body has the right to regulate the conduct of its members. Faced with a member who ignored the House Speaker's call to seek out anger management and workplace civility training, delegates took action against one of their own, with 136 of them voting unanimously to formally reprimand him. I believe the Ethics Committee did a very full investigation. It is never taken lightly. Reprimanding a legislator is a very difficult decision and, and is done uh, only judiciously. So it's unfortunate that we needed to take that action today, but it was the right thing to do. Jalisi has never apologized for nor acknowledged any of this bullying, and he, unless he participates in programs to address his misbehavior before next year's legislative session, he stands to lose his committee assignment.